And that kind of automation of information mm -hmm. is such a power because certainly we're not going to be like, uh, you know, hedge fund analyst or anything like that. But being able to process this down really is the core. Where do you um, where are the sources of information that you use um, to be able to bring this to people? Are they, you know, obviously company reports? Are they social media? Where, where, where are the sources that you, you look at? Largely, it's directly from the companies themselves to the, the reports they put out, the press releases they put out, in some cases, interviews that they've, that they've done. In a few cases, we use third party sources like news outlets, but for the most part, we get it first party and you know, direct from the company. And, and that prevents a lot of problems, right? It prevents some of the opinionizing that tends to happen in news articles or the bias of an article just to focus on one particular detail of the press release and not others that are deemed less, less important. And w when we look at it, you have largely the news is driven by the company's releases. I would say the news media is kind of like a reseller of information that's widely available already and doing kind of a retail analogy, right? In a retail store, it's called retail because it's selling it to the consumer, but they're buying it from a wholesaler. We can get the information the same, which is like going straight to the manufacturer of the product instead of the wholesaler, which is the news media. So that also increases the speed at which you can get information, eliminate some of the bias, allow you to weed through um, lots of different news and probably save a lot in your news subscription as well, if you're savvy about it. <laughs>